Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Walker Ford in sunny Clearwater, Florida. And guess what? We have that full-size off-road beast from Ford that you've been waiting for. This is it. This is a 2022 new Ford Expedition. This one is that Timberline trim. But before we get into this off-road intensified Expedition, let's talk about what's going on here. Ford. They have a lineup of SUVs that really brings something for everybody, from the smallest SUV, known as the EcoSport, to this largest of their SUVs, the Expedition. Now, once upon a time, there was an F-250 base excursion, but that vehicle no longer exists, so this Expedition does double duty in its standard form, and you could also get it in that extended length trim, the Max. Now, in this segment, there are some key players when it comes to being big and large and being able to go off-road in your SUV. Of course, the GMC Yukon with that AT4 extended model or that new kit on the block, kind of like a remix, a rerun, but with some new touches, the Jeep Wagoneer. Now, the Wagoneer is known for their trail-worthy capability but what I want to find out is if you're looking for a large family hauler that's going to go just about anywhere in the world, is it better to go with this new addition to the Expedition lineup, that Timberline off-road expansion of this SUV? Let's go ahead. Let's dive in to our dark gray matter. I love this color. Sparkles like a bowling ball and see, is it the better SUV, that off-road SUV, compared to the Jeep Wagoneer? Let's go ahead and find out. Right off the bat, there's going to be a lot of touches that separate the Timberline from the rest of the Expeditions. First of all, all 2022 Expeditions get a revised front fascia and grille. You'll notice our headlights, full LED with the LED daytime running lamp. I like the way they do the LED headlights very slim for a large SUV. And you'll notice on the Timberline edition, this is all flat black. Depending on which trim you go with, it could be chrome, it could be gloss black. This flat black looks really clean. You'll notice more of that daytime running lamp. You got your turn signals. And then down below, there's that metallic dark gray matter color. You got your LED fog lamps and functional corner air curtains to help channel that air around this big beast. Now, as we come across the front grille, I love the way that they went with the black oval for the Ford badging. Of course, you're gonna get a forward-facing camera. Any SUV that is an off-road worthy SUV needs to have one of these. Very, very important. You'll notice the orange trim. This is specific to the Timberline. So they did some tasteful orange trim around the whole vehicle and on the inside to kind of separate the two. You'll notice also the mountains. This is supposed to be the Rocky Mountains. And this is also another uh, designation for the Timberline trim. Now, as we work our way all the way down, you hear that? You're getting the skid plates off of the Ford Raptor. We got the bright orange tow hooks to help pull those Wagoneers off the rocks. Maybe even get a couple GMC uh, Yukons off the rocks. And what's wonderful is in this full-size SUV class, this has the most ground clearance of any of the other vehicles. Plus, you're getting that skid plate protection. They took a lot of what they learned from the Raptor and brought it into this Timberline. Now, as we get up onto the hood, everything else is the same. You're going to get that nice, bold, wide hood with the U-shape indentation. I love the way this sparkles, just like a bass fishing boat. Coming around the bend, are we working with some different touches? Of course. What you're going to notice is you're going to get a wheel and tire package specific to the Timberline. Now, where the other Expeditions have 22-inch wheels, these are off-road specific 18-inch wheels. I do like the Y-spoke design, gloss black. They did the black oval for all the Ford badging. And you'll notice that we have those Goodyear Wrangler tires with the built-in sidewall protection. If you're wondering, well, what's the size of this tire? This is a 33-inch tire. So they did definitely go beefy and meaty on the tires. 265 on the width, 
70 series sidewall. And you'll notice that with the suspension, that massive control arm, we got the uh, shock absorbers, the Rancho shock absorbers, all four corners to give us that off-road tune that we want. And another thing that I like, no flat black. Everything is painted on this Timberline. Now, as we come down the side, you are gonna get gloss black on the mirror caps. You do have your turn signals nice and large. One thing I am gonna zonk, why did they go bright, shiny metalwork? Everything else is blacked out, flat black. It would be nice if they would have went with a dark chrome finish on the lower window trim, but what you're getting are Timberline specific running boards. I think it would have been kind of cool to bring some of that orange trim on the running boards. Thankfully, they're nice and high and they don't stick out too far. And of course, they're stationary. They do not tuck back in, but you'll notice as you get in, it gives you a nice amount of real estate for your feet. Working your way back, you are gonna get the flat black, raised roof rails, put your cargo carrier up there, color match on the door handles, and then more of this classy badging. There's the Rocky Mountains. I guess what happened was Henry Ford used to have a cabin out there, and that's where the family would always visit when they would go mountain climbing. So that's why they wanted to put that mountain range in there, just for Henry Ford. His cabin was right there, right on the peak of that mountain. But Timberline coming down the side, like I said, the black chrome finish would have looked a little classier. Coming around the back, what do we got? They finished it off with the black oval, no blue oval, black oval Ford badging. I love the way they did Expedition, especially with the way that it's got the orange badging. Very nicely done along the bottom there. You do have, of course, your wiper. There's really nowhere to put it. I guess we could have tried to tuck it under here. So that's just one of my things. I wish that it did not have this wiper, but I like the way it's got the nice stubby extension for the roof spoiler and then working all the way down. What did they do? Flat black. You got your Timberline badge with the orange. I like the way it's not too obnoxious. And then you do have the nice bright silver and this is removable because remember, you're gonna be able to do plenty of towing and the exhaust is tucked up nice and high. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our Timberlines. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts. Now, yes, on the Wagoneer, you can get a V8. You can't get it on the Expedition, but don't let that make that frown last forever. Turn that frown upside down because what do we got? We got EcoBoost power. 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. Guess what? For 2022, we have more horsepower. And they not only took the skid plates from the Raptor, but brought over some of the horsepower magic. 440 horsepower, 510 pound feet of torque. It's made into, of course, a 10 speed automatic transmission. Remember, the Wagoneer has an eight speed. This, of course, has that four by four authority. Zero to 60 in this beast. 5.8 seconds. Yes, you could tow 9,300 pounds. MPGs, 16 in the city, 21 on the highway. You do have a two-speed transfer case. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the approach and departure angles? They've been increased. 28.5 approach angle, 23.7 departure angle. One of the best in the class. And then, of course, like I said, having that retuned suspension specific for off-road duty. But you know what? Why don't we go ahead, let's fire up this Timberline and hear what that EcoBoost sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Ford Expedition Timberline. Now, remember, like I was saying, if you were paying attention and listening, all Expeditions for 2022 receive revisions. So you got some new changes across the whole lineup. This is an all new trim edition known as Timberline. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I was sold on a GMC Yukon 
XL, AT4. But then I saw your Wagoneers, and I saw your Wagoneer reviews, and I was like, hmm, my great-great-granddaddy who fought in the Civil War, he had a Wagoneer, one of the original Wagoneers. I'm kind of curious. Now I see this Timberline. How much is it? Because it's blowing my mind. Well, that's what I'm here for. I'm not only here to blow your mind, but I'm here to give you the details. MSRP, for the way that this one is optioned, you're looking at $79,998. So let's just call it 80 grand for this Expedition Timberline. Let's see how it stacks up to the competition and what you get for the money to the door panels. They did make some nice changes for 2022. Now you'll notice up top, the soft touch material, you got that active orange stitching. That's the name of the orange. It's called active orange because you're gonna be active in your Timberline. Active orange, then you have some kind of like shark gray finish on the armrest. I'm still wondering why they went shiny chrome finish on the trim. Some dark chrome would have went a lot farther. And then you'll notice we got the upgraded sound system, b &O sound system, cool looking speaker grill cover. The better part though is that door pocket. You could easily go to the Renaissance Festival and not only get one, but two, two turkey legs, a couple bottles of goat's milk, and a scone, a nice British scone right out of a Dutch oven. No, not the one you did last night while you were in the bed. Going from the door panel to the dash, I hope you like orange. I hope you took your vitamin C. We got active orange, trim, and stitching. I like the silver finish. Boop. That's where you're going to keep your baker's dozen of Twinkies in there. Go chocolate. They actually have chocolate Twinkies now if you're not into the original. Close that up. We got a nice, easy, convenient 12 volt. I like the way it's got a door and it reminds you 12 volt. This is all new for 2022. So, standard is going to be a 12 inch infotainment system. This is the big dog. This is the 15 and a half inch infotainment system. I'm not too crazy about the vertical layout, and I'm not too crazy how it pokes past the top of the dash. But what I am crazy about is that it's got wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, beautiful navigation. You can actually see where Walker Ford is with the little Ford icon there. Now, one of the bummers is, is to actually get into things like your blower fan switch, you gotta pull up this screen, which is a little annoying, but you do have three stages of ventilated seats, three stages of heated seats, heated steering wheel. They do give you an actual, actual volume control knob. You also have your icons here to go through different things and you could just swipe, look how nice that is. And then up top, we're gonna go in a vehicle. What do we got? Well, first of all, all new for 2022, we have trail turn assist. This is a first in the industry to help make those tighter turns on the trails. We got our zone lighting. You turn it on and now you can light up the world like a UFO. So you can check out where those grizzly bears are coming from if they're still chasing after you. Camera angles. Now, lots of camera angles. The Zonk is, the resolution is not as good as the Wagoneer. I wish they would have increased the resolution, but you got your 360, watch this. You hit that, now you could zoom in on each of the corners, the back, whatever you need. You could pull this down and then you got your other angles as well. Panoramic out the front, you could cross out of it, you could go back. So as you can see, very, very intuitive and fast reacting. Let me show you one of my favorite things. I'm gonna go back and we're gonna swipe, sketch. You could actually sketch things. So if you are a True Radies Rides fan, this means everything to you. Look how nice my finger is rubbing on the screen. Hooked on phonics, it worked for me. I know how to spell on throttle, right? So that's a little note you can leave yourself. Don't forget the kids. I know a lot of people sometimes forget about their kids. You can leave yourself a little reminder and then if you want to erase it, boop, everything is gone. Easy peasy. Ford Expedition Squeezy. Working your way down, we got, of course, that pesky start, auto start-stop. Shut that thing off right away. You can shut off the traction control. I do like the silver finish, the active orange, and if you're really active, you could put a couple bananas to get your potassium. You got your banana holders. 
Open up door number one, voila, two cup holders for those super Slurpees. And then we got our rotary control knob for the 10 speed automatic. You can lock the rear diff. Remember, you got a two speed transfer case, different drive modes. I'll show you more about that when you come to the business end. Four low, four high, two high, and four automatic. Soft touch material, active orange. Get ready for this. Boom! Check it out. You got your removable little tray here for all sorts of different, say you're a scientist, you could put all your vials in here, and then you could put at least two Bunsen burners and a couple beakers in there. No, not the one from Muppets, but the actual glass beakers. And we got a 12 volt. So say you're out in the woods doing your science experiments on if the world's gonna end anytime soon, you could keep all the supplies there, seats. What do we got? Leather, active orange, nice design. No, this doesn't dig into your back, so don't worry about that. We got electric assist on the driver, on the passenger side, electric assist over here. Of course, if you're doing science experiments and you need to gaze at the stars, you got the ultimate stargazer sliding sunroof with the shade. So you're gonna have all of that capability really nicely set up. It goes all the way back. So you're going to be able to see the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. And if you're lucky, maybe you'll see Orion. But that's only at certain times of the night. But why don't you come over here? Because I don't have Orion. I might have a Big Dipper. Depends on who you ask. Come over here. I want to show you behind the business end of this Ford Expedition. All right, guys. Business time behind the wheel of this off-road beast. Now, one thing that Ford does, just like Jeep, is they like their Easter eggs. They actually give you a nice Easter egg that... It's kind of subtle, you're gonna see it, but it is very subtle of a city landscape with some off-road and some city going on. Of course, you got all your seat controls, easy to get to. I like the way they put a little bit of silver just to kind of make it look a little classier. I'm six feet tall, and if you don't have room in here, I don't know what kind of view. I guess you just need a straight up convertible or you just leave the sunroof, sunroof open all the time if you can't fit in here. So the good news is you do have that option. Steering wheel. I like the thickness. The active orange is a nice extra touch. See, this is what I was telling you about the black finishes. I wish they would have done something like this on the outside. I like the uh, dark metallic gray. Flat black on the buttons. I still want to talk to whoever develops these horn buttons for Ford. Very, very boring. Very bland. Give me some stitching, please. Please give me some stitching. We do have electric tilt and telescoping steering wheel, and you have electric pedals that you can move out as well, which is a nice touch. But new for 2022, guess what? We got that 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. I like the way an off-road display there. It shows the pitch, it shows the roll. You got your gauges, including uh, boost pressure from the turbos, and then check it out. Like Gran Turismo, normal mode, eco. Look at the way the colors are changing. Sport, tow, haul, mud and ruts, sand, Slippery, my favorite, the Bon... What would have been cool is, is if they had Bon Jovi come out during that mode, like a little image of Bon Jovi rocking out, living on a prayer in slippery but wet mode. But I really like the display. The infotainment's growing on me, but I'm not in love with it. But let's see if I'm in love with the mid-row. Let's go into the back. Let's find out what your passengers are going to be feeling and if they're going to want to travel with you on road and off in this new expedition. All right, guys, we're inside this moving piece of real estate. This thing is ginormous in so many different ways. I, you know, growing up, coming from a family of six kids, I was the oldest of six kids. I wish my, my parents had something like this instead of the nine passenger station wagon, but let's see what they're getting in here. First of all, one of my favorite touches, and I know it's gonna seem silly, is the captain's chair armrest. The reason why I'm in love with these, look how wide that is. For a beefy arm, you got a beefy armrest with the active orange stitching. That's a nice touch, and then you can flip it right away. All other OEMs need to take note of that and put that in their SUVs when you have this kind of setup. Now, the backs of the seats, you do have the leather all the way around. Super large pocket, so if you want to put Chester Copper Pot's map and all the other uh, things that you need to go find, one I will, he's treasure, they will fit in there, I promise you. Bring an abacus, because you're gonna need to do some old school math, none of that new school crap. You do have a nice little command center for your treasure hunters, two cup holders, expedition. 
I like the rear AC controls. Heated seats, but no ventilated seats. That's a Zonk at 80 Gs. USB-C, USB-A, and a home power source. Plus, we got a nine volt. We got everybody covered. And you got a hot dog holder. Not a Costco, Costco hot dog, but your standard Nathan's hot dog. Put that down there. You can see I'm still six feet tall. I haven't shrunk yet. Plenty of room, AC in the roof. It would have been nice to have an AC vent in the frame as well, but you got those holy crap handles as you're off-roading. And then of course, third row. Now we've showed you the third row capacity on all expeditions. So we're gonna make this a little brief, but there are your seats. And the great news is they didn't go cheap. They left us with active orange. You got two cup holders, you got power, seats to kind of recline a little bit and you got a USB-A for both people on both sides and the rear AC but you know what let's go ahead let's pop the back of this thing open like a tin can and see how much cargo space we have in the expedition. All right guys probably one of the most important things when you're hauling around the family or the football team maybe your family is the football team is that cargo area. Real nice you just hit that button you back away I'm kind of glad it doesn't have that beep 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 just hit the button and get away. Now, what are you greeted to? You're greeted to over 20 cubic feet of space. I like the way they kind of tilt up this rear plastic ledge just to hold in those groceries because God knows it's not fun chasing after a cantaloupe rolling down the street. You got some carpet area. We do have a place for some s'mores. If you're going camping, you could put the um, Marshmallows in here. We got trays for the graham crackers you're gonna see in a second. And then we have an array of buttons, which are wonderful. Watch how this works. You can kind of have a race to see how good your middle finger and your index finger is. Or maybe you could do it with your two hands. See if you are totally sync and your frontal lobe and occipital lobe are all together. One, two, three. Ah, oh, I was a little off there. I better go see a doctor. But you'll see one touch operation I love the way it folds down, and guess what? It folds down totally flat. While we're back here, there's those USBs I was telling you about that are in the third row. You got your trays for your graham crackers, your, your Hershey's chocolate, only use Hershey's chocolate. That's the official chocolate of a s'mores. And then you also have buttons in the back to tilt that third row, which is nice, so that the people don't get squished too much. That's another nice little feature, especially for the bigger people on your football team or the bigger kids in your family. Can you put the mid-row down? Of course. Check it out. Easy peasy. Look at all that room. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, how much room you got? Give me a number. You're looking at 104.6 cubic feet of space. You can literally go live out in the woods with this Timberline. You put the air mattress back here. You get yourself some auxiliary power. You'll be living the dream with the squirrels, the beavers, maybe even a bear or two. But you know what? Let's go ahead. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's see how this big off-road beast drives, especially with 440 horsepower. Let's hit the road and go on throttle in our Expedition Timberline. All right, guys, we're leaving Walker Ford. We're in this new 2022 Timberline edition of the Expedition. And great news is we got more power for 2022. Whether you go this trim, remember they have the new Stealth trim, and of course the variety of all the other ways you could buy your Expedition. But with that 10 speed, let's see how acceleration is. Our throttle drops down and we are off. That's where Ford does the business with this Expedition over the Jeep Wagoneer is that the EcoBoost, even though you may think, oh, it's a V6, those twin turbos spool up very fast. I'm sure you were paying attention. That boost gauge was pegged all the way on the dash. And really, the 10 speed just rockets through each gear so buttery smooth that that's how you're able to turn zero to 60 times lower than six seconds. Quite impressive in a massive vehicle like this now getting to that new infotainment system well within reach like i said i'm not the craziest of the vertical setup but if you want to have plenty of options for technology this really brings a lot of that technology into play and then the digital display 
They did a marvelous job. You get your 12.3 inches. You get to enjoy it every single day. Right now we're in sport mode, but you know what? You got your different modes, like I said, very easy to switch through. We're gonna stay in sport because I'm not towing, I'm not hauling, and it's not snowing. So we're gonna stay in sport mode here, but on throttle, here we go. Passing people left and right, very easy. Of course, we get the fuel low warning that comes up, but that just shows you what that is like, especially in the day and age where a lot of people are driving their vehicles closer to empty. Not the greatest thing to do. Remember, if you let your fuel gauge go all the way down close to that E, besides running out of fuel, you're sucking up all that sediment into the fuel system and you can block up your fuel filter, clog up fuel lines, and all that other great stuff. All right, guys, lights green on throttle from a dead stop. Here we go. We're going after that Dodge Ram. And we got him. So, like I said, it's crazy to think that we live in a world where a vehicle this size can accelerate the way it does. Plus, like I said, 33 inch tires. You got the special off-road tooth suspension. We got that locking rear diff, two-speed transfer case, and more ground clearance than any other vehicle in its class. But cruising down the highway, obviously Ford knows, unless you are Scruff McGruff living out in the woods with your big old beard, you're gonna have to get to wherever the woods are, right? Wherever that off-road trail is. So, of course, driving down the highway, it's actually still feathery smooth and soft. Not getting too much road noise from those off-road Wranglers. So that's the good news. There is a bit of wind noise, but remember, we do have the raised roof rails. Anytime you raise something into the wind, it's gonna make more wind noise. I think people forget that from time to time. But this will get you to your off-road trails, to that off-road adventure that you want. You could do it very comfortably with the ventilated seats, nice light steering, and you got the different modes, which the modes are gonna adjust, of course, how the engine and the transmission behave with one another, the steering feel, throttle sensitivity, all that good stuff. And for a large vehicle, you are getting some pretty darn good visibility but let's go into this left hand bend and see how we handle obviously this isn't a st racetrack corner carver but very predictable very confidence inspiring and trust me people are going to see it coming if not they're going to be in trouble but let me uh go ahead and on throttle i like the way it drops down really quick you're not waiting until Jiminy Christmas to come home for that transmission to drop down. And I'm, I'm noticing that Ford has done some work with the ECU to where it's not chasing all over the place through the 10 speed. All right, guys, one more time on throttle. Let's see how she handles. I'm actually digging the sound. It's got a pretty beefy sound for that EcoBoost twin turbo V6. But you know what? Like I said, nice, predictable, and this thing is one beast of a vehicle, especially with the Timberline trim. But we're gonna get back, hopefully this has been a nice overview. We're gonna get back to Walker Ford and wrap this one up. So I will see you in a mountain high minute. All right guys, been another wonderful day here at Walker Ford. I definitely gotta thank Frank and Weston Walker, Tracy, Austin, Mark, and the whole crew for getting us access to their very first all new 2022 Expedition Timberline. Let me know what you think. Has Ford done enough with this off-road vehicle, especially for the price? And is this the better one to get over the trail-rated Jeep Wagoneer? I'm dying to find out what you're gonna say in the comment section, but until we meet again in another land, in another world, and another time, if you're new to the channel and you wanna come back for more, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you, click that link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the rock star behind the lens. She does it better than anybody else in the whole auto and videography industry. Show Lori some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.